Looks like we got the tomato head. Look, taking over Japan. So hey guys, Street Fox Jr. Yes, the tomato head. A review prefer the Japanese version. The Kanjuk Tomato. Forget about the bagel head look. Only in Japan are things this weird. Or maybe not, at least for the spreading part. And to be perfectly honest, I kind of like the look. I don't really think it looks like a tomato look. It looks more strawberry-ish. And here are some other pictures of other hairdos of that stylist or other salons nearby. But is it gonna catch on and spread like the bagel head? I doubt it. It's just one shower away from being destroyed. And now Iron Man 3, since I've got that on the brain. Cause if you forgot, today was the US release. And I was lucky enough to get an early showing of the movie on Thursday. And the first thing coincidentally is also related to Japan. And that's because Japan recently opened their first 4D theater. Or 4DX if you prefer. And you might have already guessed it, the first movie they're showing in 4D is actually Iron Man 3, Lucky Bastards. And when you think of 4D experience, you might think it's gimmicky, which it kind of is. Still, it would be nice to get this in the US. And cause Japan got it for Iron Man 3, I am a little bit jealous. And still on the topic of Iron Man, if you guys recall, a few days ago I talked about there being two different versions of Iron Man. One of them being the international edition and the second being the Chinese version, which we assumed would be heavily edited, also known as censored. The Chinese version was also going to get four extra minutes of bonus footage. These four minutes being filled by famous actors in China, played by Dr. Wu and Fan Bingbing. Apparently there's been a lot of hate for those four extra minutes of bonus footage according to a lot of Chinese reviews. Interesting enough, the role that these two actors played in the movie involves Dr. Wu of course as a doctor and Fan Bingbing was his assistant. Some of this bonus footage randomly included the doctor and some kids next to the Iron Man suit. According to one account, when the Chinese showed up in the movie, it's like changing the channel. It doesn't match the rest of the movie. But that's how Iron Man is doing overall. The movie opened around the world a week before here in the US. During that time, it made almost $200 million. So then, let me know what you guys thought about the Iron Man stories. And let me know if you guys have seen it. And of course, what'd you think? Personally, I wasn't too fond of that main villain twist. But it definitely was a good start for phase two of the Avengers. So then, subscribe and I'll see you guys later.